The annual Stirling Boat Rally is an opportunity to try out the latest ideas and improvements to the Stirling boats and engines. For this the ninth rally, these two boats were launched on the Thames at Cookham and cruised down towards Windsor, setting new distance standards. On the second day of the rally, another two boats were launched. Using sat-nav equipment, speeds were measured and a peak of 4 miles an hour was recorded. With the national limit at 5 miles an hour, the gap is closing. Making a Stirling engine with enough power to propel a small boat is a real achievement, but beyond the engine there are boat handling needs. For example, re reverse gear. This was the first year that we have used a Sun and Planet gearbox. The advantage is that there is no loss of power in forward cruising. The gearbox proved its worth. When the wind and current succeeded in pushing the front of the boat into the bankside reeds, there was only one way out, backwards. The epicyclic gearbox pulled the boat out. Since last year, it is now possible to fully register sterling boats for use on UK inland waterways via the Environment Agency and the Boat Safety Scheme. And regarding the propane gas supply that we use, we have adapted the burners to use standard fixed 37 millibar regulators. Another innovation was the use of a double rudder. This enables speed control. One rudder pulls right and turns the boat to the right, the other to the left. But when both are pulled, the brakes are applied and movement through the water is slowed, even stopped. Returning to the subject of the engines, new levels of quiet running were set by the slow running tall beater engine. Other records have also been set. The number of YouTube viewings of the Stirling powered canoe have passed 800,000. Another Stirling boat rally, another year of progress.